over the last few days. Though I've been filming a lot. I haven't really been filming anything describing what's going on or my experiences with it. So I'm going to catch up. Uh, what did we do? <laughs> what did we do? Our poon throwing is a relatively relaxed event, with everyone waiting in line to take their turn, throwing for distance and accuracy. Before the introduction of firearms, the harpoon was the go-to tool for hunting large marine mammals such as seals and whales. Harpoon throwing was all but lost, like many kayak-related skills, as firearms and motorboats made hunting more efficient and safer. With the resurgence in kayaking as a modern sport, harpoon throwing has returned with it and is a critical aspect to kayak history that is rarely heard of outside of traditional paddle communities. Louis Jensen, the Louis Set, Tonsona, Piaz. The harpoon kit is actually two pieces the Ulnach, or harpoon, and the Nosak, or the throwing stick. The Nosak allows a hunter to throw a harpoon higher and farther, allowing it to mortar down into the water. In Central and North America, there's a similar tool called an Atlatl. And this is essentially the same thing. In competition, the paddler gets a score for how many meters they can throw it, as marked out by the yellow boots. And that is combined with their score for how accurate they are. The closer to the inner ring they get, the higher their points. And it's that combined score that determines the winner. It might look easy from shore, but it takes a lot of practice and finesse to land that harpoon exactly where you want it to go. Um, yesterday was group rolling, so I was out rolling with Hans and Wolfgang. I think we did pretty good. The, uh, we didn't miss a lot that we tried. Skipped a bunch, but that's group rolling. So today is uh, group rolling day, and it's absolutely pissing with rain outside. So I'm getting changed upstairs in the clubhouse. And I'm actually looking forward to getting in the dry suit, because it'll be warm and dry, <laughs> which I haven't done all day. But, uh, yeah, kind of rough out there. We'll see how rolling goes. <laughs> Group rolling works just like solo rolling, except your team only gets points if all three people complete the technique. Of the whole competition, this was definitely the worst weather day. And we were actually all pretty glad that we were rolling, rather than trying to race in these conditions.
Today is a long distance race and I am sitting this one out. For one, my kayak, I don't feel as comfortable enough to do it. My legs have fallen asleep when I've done the other races. And also tomorrow is ropes day and I want to be fresh for ropes day. But it'll be beautiful weather for that long distance race. Yesterday, it was pretty miserable. Cool and rainy, windy, raining sideways all day. Well, I'm not racing today. I'm still going to go down to the harbor. See, just being in the crowd is so much fun. Everybody's watching and cheering. The chants in Greenland get going. The kayak song will get sung every now and then. But because I'm not racing, I don't have to rush to get down there. So I can take some time and get up and see some pretty sights along the way. Especially today with this fog that's starting to burn off. The long distance races for those kids were just from one end of the harbor to the other. But, as usual, they got the loudest applause. The kids had to contend with some fog, but luckily they weren't going all that far. And by the time it came around for the teenagers and adults to race later in the day, most of the fog had burned off and it was a gorgeous sunny day. And as soon as one group of racers were crossing the finish line, another group were lining up, ready to go.
And because the long distance races took so much longer, there's ample time on shore to mess around and work on our photography. <laughs> This is Keeley. He's a way better photographer than I am. You'll get to meet him later. Up next, it's Ropes Day in competition. We see some amazing athletic feats. I give it my best. Then, I get a little poke. What's your guys doing? Oh, just getting a tattoo in Greenland. Ha, ha, ha. 